This massive power outage is impacting everyone from residents, obviously, businesses, local hospitals as well. Duke Energy says power has been restored now to more than 10,000 customers. The company says most customers can expect power by Wednesday. And we want to mm. get to our next guest. He's president of Moore Regional Hospital in Pinehurst, North Carolina, chief operating officer at First Health of the Carolinas. Uh, his team is currently operating on diesel fuel generators, as I understand it, uh, with backup auxiliary power. Uh, and Jonathan Davis joins us now. Jonathan, thank you very much. First of all, have I got that right? Are you guys still working on diesel? And, and how are things, more importantly, how, how are things right now for the hospital? Yes, we are still working on for diesel power. We have about uh, 60,000 gallons of diesel fuel, two tanks, 30,000 each. And uh, we have uh, recycle, refuel those. The total, uh, the, both fuel tanks are uh, you know, have capacity for three days and, uh, we stagger filling those tanks and, you know, are, are at the constant ready to serve our patients, um, and are safely doing so. So what's on top of your mind right now for, for the hospitals as you remain on, on battery power? I would say, uh, you know, it's certainly our resources. So we opened our command center early Sunday morning and our command center is really, uh, Kind of our, our our north star is focused on resources, so that includes uh, staffing and communication with um, of, of, with our staff um, and taking care of our community. So that's access to care for our community, um, and then just general resources, uh, you know, focused on food supplies, etc. So um, and uh, we practice these uh, sort of incidents on a regular basis. We have emergency preparedness. It really kind of runs through this, takes a risk assessment on an annual basis, and we do this and prepare for this. Our generators are tested on a monthly basis, uh, so we are uh, we are we are standing strong and um, uh, here to serve our patients. That's that's great. It sounds like you've got the systems in place. They're being tested, and and it sounds like things are going okay. Let me ask you, if I may, Jonathan, how what's your biggest concern? right now at this moment as you ensure, try to ensure that patients are able to get the care they need? Well, I think our biggest concern is really for the community at large. Certainly the longer uh, people go without power in their homes, especially uh, to those with medical needs, uh, just uh, being able to meet those medical needs, charge their devices, get, get refills on their devices, uh, refill their prescriptions, um, get access to health care. We've had to close many of our primary care and our specialty care and, and convenient cares within the county. We're able to use some of our other uh, uh, access points of care outside the county, but um, certainly I think it's really for our community, making sure uh, that they have access to, to primary care, access to the care that they need. Some of that may be urgent. We have scheduled many of our cases, uh, elective cases, we have rescheduled those and prioritized triage that work. Um, but first and foremost, um, it is our community and making sure the health care needs of our community are met um, in, in the way that they need to be. So what are you being told today about when you could get power back on? Uh, right now, uh, it looks to be Thursday. Um, that is changing. We are monitoring uh, Duke Energy and the power grid. Uh, there are some areas. Uh, we started with 46,000. I think it went to 36 and then 32. And uh, it is planned that maybe tomorrow there'll be some other areas that are up. So they're kind of uh, moving through that very methodically and, and steadily. Um, we hope to be, a, we would be one of those fortunate ones to be on a Wednesday. But uh, right now we're planning through Thursday. All right. We'll definitely follow it. Uh, Jonathan, thanks so much for joining us. Very good. Thank you for having me. And, uh, you know, a big shout out to all of our health care workers and the great work they're doing. Thank you. Oh, yeah. And they haven't given up. That's for sure. We'll keep following the story, Jonathan. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.